in this video, I'm giving my 12 valve Cummins some DIY loving, some body work and some paint with the Harbor Freight gun and getting this thing looking completely different, completely transformed for only a few hundred dollars. Let's get to it. We put the disc sander to some use right down there and gotten this bed sanded down all of the little rust nicks uh, i got sanded back down to bare metal that way we can prime over it and not have to worry about any rust on this bed really the only bad part was up here along the top the rest was just knocking a few parts down but then when we move on to the cab that will be a little bit worse and a little more daunting especially down there and on this section, I don't know if it's been resprayed. It's spider cracking. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, so I'm going to have to go really deep with the sanding here to get that prepped properly so it doesn't happen again. You can see what's causing the um, the bubbling or what did cause it. I have it sanded down up here all the way down to metal, um, but there are some, I don't know if they're rust pockets or what it is exactly, but uh, that is what was causing the spider cracking. And I have to get down to bare metal all the way around in the section to make sure that doesn't happen again for whoever ends up with this truck. Dusty Sparko, as you can see, we've made a ton of headway and progress on the truck. Man, I bought this thing this morning and it's crazy to see just how far it's come ah! and just how good it's going to look once, uh, once we get some paint on here, once we get everything all proper, sorted, dialed, etc. I cannot wait. This thing is coming along great. So we are all decked out in gear. I know from the times that I've talked, I didn't use actual gear, but it's really important for your health if you're taking on something like this painting sanding where there's very small particles that you use proper protection or else you're going to have itchy eyes, just a whole slew of problems in the short term and the long term. So wear gear if you're going to take on a project like this, quick PSA. But we are almost done with the truck, which is awesome. I uh, got a lot of it sanded, so, you Got it all sanded down, so I am headed to the car wash to get it washed off, get all the dust, and then prime it. Taking this beast, look like this, to the car wash. While we're chilling here, waiting for a bay to open up, I figured I'd give you a showcase of what it looks like now that it's all sanded.
Here she is all cleaned up after getting the wash. And man, I think she's ready to go. So we got the truck right here. I just hit it really quickly in some of the areas with exposed metal. That way it wouldn't rust uh, and be exposed after having water on it to all of the air and oxygen, which is what causes rust. So got that hit, um, but I didn't mask anything off. So that is what I got to do now. Mask all of the trim, mask the wheels, mask the mirrors and windows and all that jazz. I will do that right now. Well, we got the truck all masked off except for the wheels. Got to take care of those, but it's been debadged. Everything else is masked up and we are ready to get priming. Man, long day, but whew, she is primed. I don't think I'm gonna get to paint today, unfortunately, but it's ready to go for tomorrow. I'm gonna call it quits. There's the progress report. There's the progress update. Went ahead and got a new bumper for this beast. It looks like it's gonna fit. And really all we need are some bolts right here that are heavy duty um, to get this thing bolted up and should be rocking instead of the bumperless look that we had before. Hate to say it, but I unfortunately didn't get too much content uh, filming the actual spraying or even the priming. As you saw, I jumped from a lot of prep to just the priming. That was because my GoPro was dead. Um, and then with the painting, it's outdoors. I'm not a pro at this point. I don't know everything. Uh, I've, I've laid paint a few times, but I'm definitely not an expert. And so I was very hyper vigilant on the paint itself, not on necessarily recording myself doing that just to get the best results possible. Now it did come out pretty well. I used a third gen color, um, my favorite, and it's a, it's a pretty neutral color. A lot of different wheels can go on there. It looks really good. It's very appealing to a big demographic. And overall, I think it turned out really, really well. Uh, I can throw on some B-roll right now of uh, driving the truck once it got painted. So hopefully you like that. Hopefully you like this video. And with just a few hundred dollars, I was able to radically transform how this thing looks, how it appears, how it shows. And I am super happy with it.